Alyssa, thank you. One of a kind eatery is open in connection with Rocky Hill High School, and it's providing job training for students with disabilities. News 8's Sarah Cody takes us to the Dream Cafe in today's Connecticut Families Report. Someday, Jared Sullivan hopes to become a car mechanic. And right now, he's learning job skills at a place that's all about ambitions. It's more than a cafe, it's an experience. Welcome to the Dream Cafe, a brand new eatery providing training for young adults with disabilities. I love being here. Everybody's just so nice and so chill. Even the music that we have playing is chill. There's no real roadmap as to kind of doing this. There are independent um, models out there um, doing similar things, but nothing uh, associated with the district. This is the first cafe of its kind connected to a school district. The Dream Cafe is an offshoot of Rocky Hill High School's Dream Academy, the transition program for students with special needs. Chairman of the Board of Education, Stephen Slattery, says this was three years in the making. It had universal board support, universal town support. The atmosphere is wonderful. It gives you um, just a warm feeling of contributing and belonging. On this weekday morning, the place is packed. Mayor Lisa Murata says Rocky Hill is proud to push the envelope. I hope everyone comes here and sees just how phenomenal these kids are and what contributors they are. Oh, there are some good options like the monster cookie, chocolate chip cookie, or even a banana bread slash apple cake. So far, these students love the food and the experience like serving the customers and stuff and cleaning the tables. It's all about providing a future for these students once they leave the program at 22 years old. They are working hard and dreaming big. The dream is to have um, all of these uh, uh, students, and all of our students, frankly, but all of these students, particularly with this project, um, live as productive and successful lives as they can. Currently, this place is growing, and I'd like to see it grow more. Now, organizers hope that other school districts will study this model and recreate it for their students. Right now, the Dream Cafe is open Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. For more information, you can just head to the Connecticut Families page of WTNH.com. I'm Sarah Cody, News 8.